morning students today in maths we are going to start a new chapter measurement the teacher told nandu and sonu to go and measure the length of the table oh this will be fun nandu said let me measure first the length of this table is 11 spans of my hand now i'll measure said sonu the length of the table measures 12 spans of my hand oh how is it possible salma said both of you used your hand spans then why is there a difference in your measurement are their hand spans equal nandu said mine is bigger than sonu's that's what caused the problem teacher said all right all right i'll give paper strips of equal length to both of you use them to measure this length now both the children measured the length of the table using the paper strips the length of the table was 9 strips when both of them measured it was 9 strips nandu said the teacher that the strips you gave us were of equal length that's why the length of the table measured the same so children if we measure the length of something using similar means it measures the same now if you have to measure a chalk stick can you use this strip no this strip is longer than the chalk stick so we will fold this paper strip to make equal parts these small parts will be useful for measuring the piece of chalk let's fold the strip three times and get eight equal parts now if we measure the chalk stick the chalk is equal in length to five of these small parts now shall we use the strip to measure the distance between the two posts of the main gate no this strip is too short we have to use a long string now let's use the string to measure the distance between the gate posts we can see that the distance between the gate post is equal to 3 strings so children it's easier to measure a great distance using something of greater length and to measure shorter lengths it is easier to use a shorter thing you have seen that for yourselves haven't you children kids you all must have gone to a cloth shop with your parents right well there you must have seen somebody measuring a sheet of cloth with the help of a long metal scale a sheet of cloth must measure the same no matter who measures it that is why a long metal scale is used to measure cloth in a cloth shop this scale is 1 meter long the meter is a standard unit which is used for measuring length If we divide a meter into hundred equal parts, each part is called a centimeter. So, I can say that one meter is equal to hundred centimeters. Children, the kids measured the distance between the gate posts with a string. Now, if they use the meter scale and measure it again in meters and centimeters. the distance between the posts will be 3 meters and 80 cm now children let me show you a ruler which we all use from a compass box to measure short distances between two big markings there are small smaller markings can you see them they show units of length smaller than centimeters you can see on the scale 
the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 written beside the bigger markings. This show centimeters. A meter is 100 times as long as a centimeter. We use the standard unit meter to measure bigger distances. Now this is a meter scale. Children, on page number 38, you have a table. In the table, you have to write whether you will measure the following lengths or distances in centimeters or meters. Now, length of a pencil. It will be measured in centimeter. Distance between two buildings. That will be in meter width of a road again it will be measured in meters now the length of your notebook it will be measured in centimeters length of a mobile phone yes that's correct it has to be measured in centimeters distance between two poles that will be measured in meters so this table you are going to complete on page number 38. In our next video we are going to see how to measure weight and volume and capacity.